A lot is said about the importance of new wedges and how often should you change your wedges? Should you change them every year? What's the point of changing them? What is the reason you would change them? So today I'm going to see if it's actually worth changing them really. Now I know a lot of tour pros and you see it on YouTube and they're changing their, their wedges every tournament. So I don't discount the fact that them new blades and them new wedges and those new grooves are going to have a better impact on their golf. But for people like you and me, who probably play golf once a week, twice a week maybe, or anything like that, is it actually worth every year spending around £450 to change your wedges? Well, I'm going to test it. So I've got my old 52 degree RTX Zipcore wedge. I had this in the bag for best part of a year to 18 months. It's the raw version. It's been well used. Um, it's rusty. It's, it's, you know, it served its purpose. It's a good wedge. I just changed it because I wanted to change it. It's got the Dynamic Gold Tor Issue Wedge Flex Shaft in it. And I've also got the Cleveland RTX 6. This is the brand new wedge from Cleveland. It's got brand new grooves, brand new everything, exactly the same shaft, same length, same everything. So I'm just going to hit some shots and I'm going to get some numbers and see if there's actually a point or any reason why you would want to change from that wedge to this wedge because this is newer and got better grooves. I've got a green out here 75 yards away so it's just going to be a nice easy little pitch shot. Got my 52 degree wedge. What am I looking for? I'm basically looking for spin numbers. That's the whole point of a wedge. It's like I'm hoping that or you would expect the new wedge to produce better spin because from 6 to 75 yards, I'm not, like, they're not going to go any further or any difference in distance. It's all about that spin number. First shot, front of the green, spin 8,800. I'd probably, it's probably thereabouts, between eight and 9,000 for a 75 yard pitch, I'd be pretty happy with. So landing these a little bit short at 66 yards, but up at 9,000 spin. So let's just put a little bit more speed onto it. That's the one right there. The club feels great. It looks good because I like the raw part of it. There's no reason that this wedge isn't functional. 18 year, 18 months, and God knows how many rounds further down the line. Spin. 10,300, absolutely perfect. So that's the RTX zip core, that's the last model. Let's try the six. Ball I'm using is Titus Pro V1, so good ball. It's not like I'm using a bad ball or anything like that. Obvious looks difference, because this is uh, metallic and that's raw. But other than that, it looks the same. Oh, that kind of flew out. Is that definitely a 52? That came out very hot. Miles in carry distance, huh? Very surprising. Yeah, they just, they feel the same. Feel absolutely the same. Now, one reason that that first one went a little bit further, and it could be a reason, I'm not saying it is, I haven't got a loft line machine to check it, but this has been used a lot. It's a forced head, and the more you use something, the more bend and the more the likelihood is that it's gonna, the loft is gonna slightly weaken. So this 52 might actually be like a 53, 54, whereas this is brand new, so the loft is gonna be pretty accurate. So that's one reason that could, I'm not saying it is, but could be uh, a reason to change your wedge, or you could just bend it back to 52. It definitely feels like it goes further, as silly as that sounds. Like I don't have to hit it as hard to get it the distance I want it to go to, whereas that one I felt like I just had to hit it a little bit hard. Like that's perfectly 75 yards, 9,700 spin. So let's hit one more, then we'll do a little numbers comparison. Spinning, spinning, zip, no. Okay, 9,700 spin, so I've not got it up to 10,000, but then I felt like I've had to hit that one a bit harder. Let's clear the numbers, 
Get, I'll hit five or six shots with each and then get a comparison. Okay, so let's look at the numbers and ball speed. This iron is the old 52. Wedge is the new 52. Ball speed 66.8, 66.1. Standard deviations overlap, perfect. Launch angle 29.3, 30.4, almost identical again. Side angle, nought and nought. But spin, 9,442, 9,820. Really tight standard deviation for these ones. A little bit, like a one up at 10, then one down at uh, eight and a half. So a little bit all over the place with that, but very, very tight with this. Land angle, 44, 45, so this is the, the 52, the new one is going a little bit higher. And then average carry distance is 73, 72, not a lot in it. So actually, there's not really a lot in it. Now, from what that test, and don't get me wrong, it was five shots with each, you know, it wasn't a massive test, but what it shows is, like, if I wanted to replace this with this, it would be in and around 130-ish pounds. And from that test, with the, the sort of missed strikes that I can get with wedges, I don't actually see a massive difference. There may be a 400 sort of spin difference with the new one, but how I'm gonna see that on the golf course is gonna be really, really difficult to tell. So I think it's down to you. It's down to the individual. If you want the new wedge um, and the things that come with it, with the new grooves and all that kind of stuff, then you know what, go for it. But if you're on an 18 month old wedge and you're like, I want new wedges because they're just gonna spin more. The truth of the matter is, they're probably unlikely to be a massive difference that you will see because the grooves on this are still pretty good. You know, it's still spinning okay. The ball speed and everything is identical to this. It's just that this is probably a little bit more consistent and a little bit more spinny. So elite player, yeah. Average player, you are not gonna see any difference on the golf course with this whatsoever. I can almost guarantee it. Anyway, uh, anyway, I hope you've liked that video. If you have, please do drop it a like by hitting the thumbs up down below. And as always, if you're not yet subscribed or are new to the channel and want to subscribe, if you hit my little logo there, that will take you to the page to be able to hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to be on my journey as this channel grows. But for the time being, I'll see you soon.